Hello everyone and welcome to Victoria's Cantina. Today we're having a look at the Hasbro Marvel Legends Infinite Series The Avengers Age of Ultron Captain America. Here's a look at the packaging. Alright y'all, so Hasbro has released their very first wave of Marvel Legends figures for the Avengers Age of Ultron. And I've picked up the three in that wave that um, make up the characters as we see them in that film. Uh, there's Captain America, there's Iron Man, and there's the Hulk. So this Captain America is a blend of two things. First of all, he's primarily a repaint of the existing Captain America, the Winter Soldier, Marvel Legends figure that came out last year. But he does include some new parts, and we will look at those in just a moment. The sculpt in the figure is quite good. It's more or less what you would expect from a Hasbro 6-inch Captain America figure. Proportions look to be okay. Uh, the armor looks pretty good. And the paint is also quite nice. He does come packed with the same accessories that came out with the Winter Soldier figure, though they have been repainted to fit this new color scheme. All right, you guys, so here is a close-up of Captain America. And uh, the head is a repaint of the previous uh, the Winter Soldier Captain America. Um, it's okay. It's decent enough, I would say. The sculpt is pretty good. There's some texture on him, uh, you know, throughout the helmet. And uh, it doesn't look bad. It almost looks like one of those sparring helmets you might use if you were, like, at a karate or boxing tournament kind of thing. The application of the paint is all right. Um, you know, the eyes look pretty good, though. Mine does have this kind of half-mustache-type smear on his upper lip, as you can see there. So, you know, that's pretty annoying. Uh, and then, you know, right there... Uh, on the side where the cheek meets the mask. It's also a little bit sloppy, so, eh, you know, that could definitely have been better. Now, I also kind of noticed that the color of the, of the neck um, doesn't quite match the color of the face 100%. Um, now, the torso here is actually brand new. For this piece up here for the chest and then, you know, the abdomen, those are new pieces that were made, and that looks to be pretty much all that's new of this figure. Uh, everything else seems to be repainted. Um, but they did a nice job sculpting this. Again, you know, if you look at the star there, the paint isn't completely clean. There is a little bit of, um, you know, paint missing. But Marvel Legends, uh, you know, always seem kind of hit and miss, so I'm not too surprised. I mean, uh, you know, luckily it's just not, you know, terribly bad or anything, but, you know, it could be worked on. Um, the rest of the outfit is pretty nice. I mean, his arms and, uh, you know, the legs, you know, the coloring is, is pretty good on those. Uh, and, you know, you got, he's got the Avenger symbols there on his shoulders and, uh, you know, the boots. Really not too much detail with the boots. You know, I would have liked to have seen them color the, the buckles at, at the very least, you know, give them, like, a metal look. But they didn't do that. They made them solid brown, which, eh, you know, a little bit of a bummer, but, you know, could be, could be worse. In the way of articulation, Captain America has a ball joint here at the head, and it gets a pretty nice range of movement. He has ball hinges at both of his shoulders. He's got swivels at his biceps. You get those double bends at the elbows. Now the left hand uh, that comes installed on the figure goes uh, side to side. And uh, the one on the right goes up and down. He has an ab crunch at the center. He's got a swivel at the waist. Ball joints at the hips. Swivel at the thigh. Double bends at the knees. And then Hinges here at the ankles with um, pretty nice pivoting joints. Steve Rogers does come with quite a few accessories, and uh, you know, but for the most part, they're okay. Um, you know, here you have a repainted head, and it doesn't look a whole lot like Chris Evans, but I mean, I think it's you know, it's okay. If I compare it for you with the um, the one that came with the Winter Soldier, I do think it's a little bit of an improvement. Um, it's not quite as tan looking. I think the paint looks a little more natural. The hair looks probably yeah, slightly better. Um, so, you know, I, I would say that's a little bit of an improvement, but I mean, they're, you know, it's the same sculpt, so, you know, there's not going to be a whole lot of difference there, but I do think it looks a little bit more like his movie counterpart. And as you might imagine, you can take off his head right there. It comes off quite easily, and, uh, you know, there's also a bend there uh, underneath the head, and then you can apply the new head. And there it is. Um, you know, looks pretty good without the helmet. 
I don't think it looks terribly bad. Again, it doesn't look like the actor, but, you know, I mean, I, I, I guess it's close enough. You also get two additional hands. Um, there's the saluting style hand, and then there's another fisted hand. And, uh, you know, it seemed to be painted okay. Uh, the fingertips there uh, on that hand do look a little bit dirty or, or something. To replace the hands, you merely, uh, you know, gently twist on the uh, hands that are already in there. And then you just take the other ones and just pop them in. Just like that. And finally, of course, Cap comes with his trademark shield. And uh, this is a repaint of the one that came with the Winter Soldier figure. Uh, this one does have the, the red, white, and blue. The previous one was just shades of blue and silver. Um, this one looks pretty nice. You got the brown straps there. Um, one thing that, you know, is kind of annoying about the previous Captain America figures were that the, um, the straps here, you know, would fall out and, you know, they wouldn't stay on too well. These seem to be in there a little bit better. I hope that they put some glue because previously it just seemed like they might have been snapped in there or something. I don't, I'm not sure that they used glue in the other ones, but I had problems where they would fall out and then, you know, you just couldn't put them back in. And he seems to hold the shield pretty nicely. It does look like they... Uh, you know, modified those straps just a little bit. That way he could do this because previously it was really hard to get him to hold the shield, uh, you know, on the other two figures. So, you know, I'm glad that they did try and uh, re-engineer that as it seems to be the case. Captain America also comes with Thanos' right leg. Now, Thanos is the Build-A-Figure for this wave, so if you get all six figures, you can finish building him. All right, you guys, and here's a look at our Avengers 2 Captain along with the Winter Soldier Captain on the left. Um, you know, you can see that they are very similar, you know, except for the uh, the difference in the paint as well as the torsos. I would say that the Avengers one is a little bit nicer. And here is our look at the Marvel Legends, the Avengers Captain America from the first film on the left, uh, which is a Walmart exclusive. And then our the Avengers 2 Age of Ultron Captain America on the right. I was never a huge fan of that first figure. I just don't think it looks particularly that good. Great. The coloring seems way off, the sculpt is a little bit funky, and uh, the shield you know, is a little bit small and he doesn't seem to hold uh, it very well at all because the straps are just pretty lousy on it. So I do think that the Avengers 2 Captain America is a big upgrade to that original figure. Alright ladies and gentlemen, so there you have it. This is the Hasbro Marvel Legends Infinite Series The Avengers Age of Ultron Captain America. Captain America is my personal favorite Avenger, and uh, I'm really pleased with the way that this figure turned out for the most part. Um, I think that it's uh, sculpted pretty nicely. Um, you know, he does come with plenty of accessories. Articulation is quite nice, though. All the articulation in the ankles, um, you know, makes him a little bit hard to stand. Uh, the shield looks very nice. Um, you know, the head is okay. It's an improvement over its predecessor. And I really like the coloring of the outfit. I really, really like it. And I think it's a huge improvement over the two previous film Captain Americas that we've gotten. Sure, there is still room for improvement. Um, the biggest issue I have with this figure is the, uh, the sloppy paint on the face, you know, which is a little bit annoying. I'm not sure. Maybe a magic eraser might help. Um, you know, I'll probably just leave it as it is. All in all, I firmly believe that this is probably the best Captain America figure you can get from Hasbro at the, in the six-inch scale, uh, at least from the movies. And, uh, you know, I may or may not uh, part with my previous two because I really like this one and I do think that he's quite nice. So I do recommend him if you're a fan of um, the Marvel Cinematic Universe and the Avengers. You're probably going to like this guy. Even if you have the previous two figures, I think that this is definitely an improvement. And uh, I do recommend him. I pre-ordered this guy on Amazon.com and just received him uh, a couple days ago. They should be hitting retail pretty soon here if they haven't already. And stay tuned because I still have reviews of the new Iron Man and the new Hulk figures from the Avengers Age of Ultron. Thanks for watching Victoria's Cantina. Till next time. Bye-bye.